Hey guys, Chad Trafkabin here. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the basics of plugins, how to install them, and kind of what they're used for. Now obviously there's numerous plugins out there, but they mostly run in the background of your website, and they basically make your life easier. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to probably use them so much for a visual on your website as you are for something to run in the background. And I kind of explained that in a previous tutorial, so I won't go too much into that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get logged into our dashboard. And once we're there, let's go find a plugin for us to install onto our website. I'm going to go to JumaWorks.gr. I'm going to go ahead and download the All Videos plugin. This plugin basically makes it really easy to put videos on your website, to embed videos on your website from other sources like YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'll just make a quick note. I found this website through extensions.joomla.org. If you're looking for extensions, that is the site to go to. It's, it's the official Joomla website and they have a huge catalog of extensions. Anyway, let's go ahead and download this by just clicking this button right here and saving the file. Okay, go back to our dashboard. Now we're gonna to go to extensions, install, uninstall, and this should be familiar if you saw my other tutorial covering extensions. Now we're gonna to go to browse and we're gonna go ahead and find the file that we just downloaded. And for me, that would be right here in my downloads folder. Just go ahead and hit open on that zip file and then click Upload File and Install. Now, like before, when you install templates or anything else, there'll be some notes here for you to check out. So you can check those out if you wish. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and bypass that. The next thing you need to do is enable the plugin. Most of the time when you install a plugin, they'll remain disabled until you go in and enable them. This is kind of just to prevent any like glitches or anything that might occur if you install a plugin. So let's go to Extensions, Plugin Manager, located right here. And now you'll have access to all your plugins. We have a bunch here already because these are all default plugins. And of course, you can go through and enable and disable these if you wish. But we're going to go ahead and concentrate on this one right here, the All Videos plugin. So you can go ahead and click Enable right here. Now another thing you can do is click on the plugin to go into it and make some adjustments. Now again, this particular plugin allows me to embed videos from various websites. And you can go ahead and adjust the parameters of how those videos look right here. You can adjust the default width and height. If you upload videos, you can default where that uh, folder is going to be, where you're going to put your videos. And there's just a bunch of other different stuff. Another thing you can do too is look at the documentation. Now some extensions and plugins, especially when you download, sometimes they're not always so straightforward. You might need to tweak them or you might need to read up to see how to use them or how to get them to work specifically for your website. And if it's a good plugin or if it's a, you know, a plugin that someone who's dedicated made, they will um, give you documentation for that. Whether that documentation will be in the plugin like this one or on their website, it just depends on who makes it and what the plugin is. Anyway, we'll come back to that in a second. First, I'll kind of explain what this plugin is going to do for us. I'll go ahead and just save here really quick. Let's go to Content Article Manager really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and click on a video that I have put in an article. And just bring it up here. Okay, you'll see that there's nothing on here right now. But when I go into HTML view, um, you'll see that I have embedded a YouTube video with this code right here. And all I did was take the default embed code that YouTube provides for each video and I just put it into my HTML window right here and just pasted it in and applied it and I was done. Well, 
This plugin I downloaded lets us save a step. So let me demonstrate. Let's go ahead and just close this really quick. And then go back to our extensions and plugin manager. And then go back to our all videos plugin. Now let's click on the documentation. If we come down here to this table, you'll see how we can use this plugin. When the plugin is enabled, in order for us to put videos onto the website, let's say for instance YouTube. Let's scroll down here to YouTube. Let's say we want to put, again, a video on the website. All you need to do is put this tag into your article where you want the video. You don't have to go into HTML view or anything like that. You don't have to paste an embed code. You don't have to manually adjust all the dimensions because the plugin can do that for you in, your, in the parameter settings. It's just right there. So what you do is you take that URL, that video URL from YouTube and you put it in between these two tags right here for this particular plugin. And then you save the article and the plugin does the work and your video is up. So let's go ahead and find a video on YouTube to try this out with. Okay, I'm just gonna come up here and I already have a video open here. I'm going to go ahead and take this part of the URL right here after the equal sign. I'm going to copy it with control C and I'm going to go back to my administrative panel here. I'm going to go ahead and just save this plugin because I don't need to do anything with it right now. Go to content article manager, go down to my video that I was looking at before, and now I'm going to go ahead and go to my HTML view, and I'm going to just delete everything, and then hit update. Now, again, referencing back to the, the uh, manual here, I need to put a round bracket with YouTube, and then another one at the end with a backslash. So, come back here, go ahead and just type that in. I have YouTube and then I'm going to paste that URL that I typed out and then we're going to just type out YouTube again with that backslash and then we go ahead and we'll apply it. Now if we go back to our website we go to animation videos on my particular website here and I go to that video I just that article I just saved you'll see that it's embedded and there was no need to apply HTML code or anything. It just installed a simple plugin that allows us to put videos on at ease and that was it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And like I said, there's numerous plugins out there that do different things. So I advise you go ahead and check them out and see what works for you. All right, well, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.